Welcome back to Proteus. Let's continue with Genesis Part 2. After the first battle, a fortress was constructed at the center of the crater, a defensive measure to prevent future attacks from Proteus forces. A slayer guards the rune at all times. Slayer. Bring it on. Or am I the slayer? No, I'm not, am I? What am I, actually? <laughs> Oh yeah, we have the energy weapon now. Oh shit, and another new weapon. A sniper? Okay, just left clicking. Oh. Huh. I wonder if that will arc between enemies. Oh, the, it's like the lightning happening in the gun right now for the idle animation is so cool. Look at that. But yeah, what is this? Is this like an energy sniper? Yeah, it's like a rail gun or something. Or a Gauss rifle or something. Oh wait, how much ammo did that use? Oh, it uses 10! Ooh. Also, I love how the gun actually flips over. Yeah, it turns sideways. the range on this? I think it's hitting him. So I think it has unlimited range, I guess. One, two, three. And I'm out. Alright, let's try this. Yes, it does track them. It does, it does like, uh, stay connected to them. Moves with them. Yes, new weapons. It's reaching the point where I have enough weapons that I might need to start using this menu to select weapons. Mm, let's try this out. Uh, so I want to see if... Yep, yeah, let's use this menu. I want to see if this arcs. No, not that. Uh, oh, I'm still out of energy, so... Uh, chaos ammo. Chaos ammo? What is that for? Yeah, I'm out of energy, so I can't test that to see if it arcs. Does that hurt? It doesn't. I just put my face in lava. I see him. Yeah, really nothing seems to be range limited at all. If it's accurate enough, it seems like it will hit them. By the way, what do we have? Five secrets and 103 enemies. What I actually need is... Oh, wait. Is this the thing that uses... Ah! Is this the thing that uses chaos ammo? I thought this was an energy weapon. Right, it's not. Of course it's not. The other thing's the energy weapon. Not surprisingly, when you snipe them, they die in one hit. Huh. 
really doesn't take too many hits to kill him. I just hit a switch. I don't know what it did. if there's something behind the waterfall, but it's kind of made out of lava. Oh, it does arc. Yes. Oh wow, I have eight hit points. Oh yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Alright, on this difficulty now I'm starting to rack up some deaths. As it should be. It's time to use my energy weapon. Ooh. How do I get in there? There's a thing. Looks like you have a little bit of grace time in the lava. You don't take damage if you get out of it really quickly. Which I'm very grateful for. Mm. How? How? directly beneath me. Maybe I should just continue and there'll be a pathway to get there? Probably not, though. I bet there's a switch. I bet there's a switch I can shoot. Ooh. Maybe that? No. Aha! That 
That is one out of five secrets. Did I just kill the big dude with just one rocket? Does it do that much damage? That is for the secret. Hmm. Okay, technically that wasn't a secret, apparently. Uh, I could use my rocket launcher for sure, but let's arc instead. Yeah, nice. Just trying to spread my ammo use out. That looks like a big button. like this. Secret? Or is this... Wait. That's where I came from. Rebind your weapons in the options menu. Uh. Okay. Why? Are you, why are you telling me that now? I mean, what what do you think I would want to change? that kill the slayer holy shit that thing's terrifying yeah.
Ah, no! Jesus! Oh! Nasty thing! Okay, it's just chilling there right now. It's not aggroed. Oh, that did it. <laughs> it's almost all the enemies. I'm still missing four secrets. Missed a lot. Something else for good ammo distribution. Oh, there's another secret. Still only two out of five, though. We did get every enemy, however. Hmm. Not happy about the amount of secrets. Oh, well, here's another secret. Okay, three to five. Back to that 60%. I can live with that. Oh, we have enough runes to go back here now. Chaos Generator. A device known as the Chaos Generator emits a strong disruption field which hides this dimension from external forces. The source of its power is unknown. Hell yeah. Mysterious. Blue key required.
There's the blue key. Bye. Destroy the shields. They really look shootable. Wait, do they mean just like... Yeah, okay. Ah! We have four secrets and 62 enemies. Oh, we got a choir going on in the music now. That's new. These look like buttons. Like, is there some way to activate it? Does one of my guns activate it? Maybe electricity? Will, like, jumpstart it or something? Chaos? Shoot it with a freaking rocket? Okay, I think they're just visual. <laughs> Four barrels, baby. Necessary? Hell no. Oh, that over there opened. It's probably where I go next. Oh, that just loops around. Wait, I have been here, haven't I? Have I? Yeah. Definitely. Just things have changed, I guess. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> What about that? I don't have anywhere near the height to get that. How the heck? There must be a way to like get up there or something and then fall down to it?
Kill the void reactor. My pleasure. Ah! Okay, hold on. I did it. on chaos. Let's start to use that. Was I supposed to be able to hit that behind the, like, force field? Lockdown lifted. Oh, sweet. Oh, is that where the exit is? Yeah, it is. Okay. I still want that. Oh, these things are where, like, ammo and resources are offered up at some point. I see. That really looks like one of those things you hit to make a thing happen. A secret button. Anyway, I'm gonna look around a little bit. Oh, hello. Ooh. Oh. Oh, yes. Is this a secret? Yes! Okay, that's 3 to 4, 75%, which I feel pretty good about, but I do know... Uh, the thing that bothers me is I know where the last secret is. It's that ore fragment that you can plainly see, but it's out of reach. How do you get it? What the hell? I really, I gave that like a 1% chance of working. I was just kind of passing time and thinking of what to do, but yeah, actually that specifically needed to be shot with a rocket launcher. Or it just had a lot of health and needed to be shot a lot, but my bet it's on the rocket launcher. Interesting. Okay, so those things really do mean that they're, if they look like that, they are special buttons. Just like I thought. <laughs> Wait, that was the final secret. Wait, if that's, hold on, if that's the final secret, 
then the thing that I was thinking was the secret isn't not actually marked as a secret. But then how come I don't know how to get it? How come the not secret is the hardest thing to get? Oh, I know how to get it. Right, there's like double jump boots and stuff that you can buy on later tiers, right? So you have to get those and then replay the map. Okay, so you can't necessarily get everything on the first run through. I just... that just sunk in. Yeah. There is a double jump that we can't get yet. Okay. Hundred percent kills. Hundred percent secrets. Zero deaths. Hell yeah. A hundred percent hell yeah. Oh interesting. This is I guess another pathway with, that we can take. Huh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Memoriam. Toward the heavens, on the highest mountain, a monument was constructed for the benefactors of this dimension. This sounds like it's going to be a really cool set piece. One secret, 45 kills. Oh, huh. so a small map, I guess? Backers. With construction complete, we just wanted to take a moment to thank our backers. We couldn't have finished this project without you. Wait, is this meant to be read in-universe or out-of-universe? Because I think the game was on Kickstarter? Or, you know, some sort of crowdfunding, crowdfunding campaign? But who would call completing their game construction complete? That's why I'm like, is this in-universe? <laughs> oh, I think I might be able to get that if I use this little ramp. <laughs> no, definitely not. I need double jump. It's just one big arena, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, this is very literally just a thank you to all the backers. That's cool. So they put it into a, a whole level. But there are actually enemies here and a secret, so... Aside from the backers, there is something here. I guess that's the let the party start button. Oh. 
Okay, there's, I don't know, snipers or something up there? I haven't faced those enemies before. Ah! Oh! Jesus! <laughs> no! Oh wait, I can continue from Nexus Point, right. How do I get you? How do I get you? There we go. Okay, it's just a soldier with a... Oh, the same gun that I'm using. What are we at? That's all the enemies, but there is still a secret. I think I see the secret. I think it's that fragment up there, which you probably get to by jumping from there, but I don't think that's possible unless you have double jump, so I'll have to come back here. If I remember, which I probably won't. But apparently there's a rune for us. with our other pathway. Excavation. Oh, that sounds nice. This excavation site was used as a major hub for military operations during the first battle. Experiments were conducted on the chaos units that came in contact with Proteus Harbingers. Harbingers? Sounds like a new enemy type, maybe. Seven secrets and 140 enemies. just started a lift that will take us to a secret, perhaps? Grenade launcher? Oh, that goes in the first slot. Right to shoot... Sticky nades. Oh, I love how they call them nades. Not grenades, but just nades. That's cute. Okay, this uses rocket ammo, so need to be kind of stingy with it. But yeah, left click. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Okay, left click is a normal grenade that's bouncy. And right click would be the sticky one. Oh, look at the flippy thing flip out. Flippy thing floops out when you hold it down, and then you shoot. Was that a... hmm. Was that a really long timer, or was it more like a proximity grenade kind of thing? When would I want to use this over the rocket launcher? Ah! Okay, let's try it out on them. Like, if I do the... Ah! That... Okay, that exploded way faster, so I think it is a proximity, but I think it also will just blow... Wait, what? Oh! It stays there until you release the sticky mode, and then it blows up as soon as you release it. So I'm keeping sticky mode open. And then I release it, and it blows up. Okay, so it's probably not a proximity thing. probably go up into those things because those might be secrets. Is this a green? Okay, yeah, green key card.
secret. Music just kicked in. Hello? Who is it? Someone sees me. Anyway, I want to get up there. And I'm wondering if I could do it from here. ammo down there. Uh, probably I get it from going in there. Yeah. Oh, yes! That wasn't considered a secret. Oh, man. I need two key cards. I'm trying to hit the barrel behind him. Come on. It's not going to happen. There we go. Ugh. I think I know how to get that. <laughs> well, that's one thing the grenade launcher is good for. <laughs> Secrets. A secret key, basically. There's a green.
How long are they hanging out in there? Is that their apartment? A secret, but also not required. <laughs> that is a very cool use of the grenade launcher.
Oh, Christ. Oh, they got the zoomies. Oh, that was the other pathway that I could have taken. Mm. Rocket launcher. Or grenade launcher. That's actually something that I do want to rebind, because I don't want to access the grenade launcher by pressing that key. I want it to be something I have to press Q to access, because I really only want it for unlocking secrets, I think. So, I think we just go to input PC. Grenade launcher is on four. Uh, how do I assign nothing? Can I assign nothing? Delete? Well, now it's the delete key. I don't know. Let's make it I. Was I something? Nope. So now if I press 4, yep, it only opens the rocket launcher. It won't open anything else. Nice. Interrogation room? Yellow key! Yes. Shall we release our friends?
feel like there's something to this room. Maybe not. Secret four of seven. Don't know why he's doing four barrels there. Jesus. So that goes back to where I was before. This... What is this? Oh, right, that's the elevator I just came down on. I don't want to use that yet. I know there's at least one place to use my yellow key card. That's probably a bonus, and that's over here. Okay, so that just loops around to the normal place. Hmm. I feel like there's at least one more place that uses the yellow key card. Oh, yeah, here. But we already used that, yeah. That was the place I was thinking of. I, I can't think of any more yellow doors. Okay. Well, four to seven secrets. I feel good about that. Well, decent about that. I think I actually have been in that room back there. Even though it looks like I haven't. But I don't know, it feels like these next points respawn. I don't know if it's on the timer or if it's based on progression. Hundred percent kills. 57% secrets? Okay, I don't feel as good about that when I see the percentage. Zero deaths. Yeah, that map looks bad. Badass. Oh, there's a trial. Called the Trial of Shredders, even though I don't think it matters what gun you use again, I'm assuming. Hit all targets in under one minute. Yeah, sure. <laughs> let's do this real fast. Well, let's do it real slow to begin with so we can find all the... Um, all of the iron or whatever things. Two secrets. Oh, it opens depending on how much damage you do to it. Oh, that's cool.
how in the heck do I get up there? I guess you probably just need double jump, huh? I'm thinking you don't want to jump too high. Ow! Okay, it's not instant death. Look at it go. Did I really find zero of the two secrets? get those. Don't tell me the one minute limit actually matters on this map. And that's how you open it? Maybe. I had to try it. Oh, wait. Hello. <laughs> There's a thing down there. I didn't think I'd just like insta die when I touched those. They weren't even moving. All right. Well, let's try this on the time limit then. There was like one there. I thought that would open it. It didn't. I think we finished in under a minute, or I could have if I didn't dilly dally there at the end. Oh, that was a minute 12. Okay. All right, this is a real trial then. I mean, I don't know if it's actually gonna give me something if I finish in under a minute, but maybe when you shoot that thing, it checks the time at that point. Uh. I might as well play again right now. But yeah, 
I think this one might actually work properly. <laughs> doing so well. Okay, this is actually exciting now. I just really wish there was a timer on the screen. No! Okay, we're alive. Yes! Yeah, that's how it works. It checks your time at the t moment that you shoot it. It doesn't tell you any of this for some reason, but... 56 seconds. Yeah, that was exciting. You really do have to haul ass and you can barely make it. That was really fun. I, I'm still not convinced you need to use the shredders, although I do think the shredders are probably the best weapon to use just because of their accuracy and how fast they fire and everything. It makes it easy to hit a lot of targets really fast. Um, was that really only three out of eight of the materials? Uh, we gotta go back in there and find that secret that was down by the lava. Maybe we go down from here? Yes. Ooh, there's another one up there. How in the heck? Wait. I see something over there. Is that just health? Is there more down here? Oh, it's a little lift. Oh, cute. And it takes you back here. Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to get that up there. There is another one that I know how to get, but I have to restart to be able to do it, so... Let's do that. But I got one more now. Okay, there's another one that I saw up here. Yeah, there we go. I think I'll end the episode there. By the way, did you know that I have a Patreon where I post exclusive playthroughs? I really should mention that more often. Anyway, links in the description. Thanks for watching, and when we return, we're going to play the Marksman level.